And uh, I certainly know that Sister Stella loved God. And it's wonderful that Sylvia has a memory like that, isn't it? Yeah. Of a beautiful mother. Because there's no word like mother. There is no word. Outside of the Jesus, I think Jesus first, the deity, then mother, father. But it's wonderful to have a memory like that of a mother. So we, part of our heritage is in the family, and uh, you got that picture enlarged from me. We'll all share it here together. Still around. And, uh, I put Westbury in it because we do. Put Westbury so Westbury. everybody will understand and be familiar with it. We have had a tremendous move of God here tonight. A tremendous move of God. I'm so glad all of you are here. I pray the Lord will bless you and prosper you and overshadow you and go with you and make your day to be bountiful and blessed of the Lord tomorrow. And let it be a great week of victory. And may we see souls come to the church and each one of us prosper in the Lord. Um, this night has been a great night, and uh, I want to ask, uh, I'm always thinking about different saints, and we request prayer for so many, but uh, I haven't got to see Brother Frost in the last near pushing two and a half weeks, I know. Is, how, Sister Leona, Brother Steve, how is he? How is Brother Frost? It's hard to hold him down, Leona, isn't it? Because that fisherman at 80 some years of age just doesn't want to accept the fact that he can be held down and he's going to be held down with those ribs to heal. But that's a, that's a terrible pain. Pray for Brother Frost. If you're in that vicinity, you know where he live. And never find the Frost family but one way. They welcome you to come see him. And we're glad to have you. And uh, I was down there the other day, and she told me, she said, he's been taking care of me, Margaret did. Yeah. But she said, now I've got to take care of him. Well, I think they both need <laughs> someone to help look in on them. Because, and they have some wonderful children that would never let them suffer for anything. And uh, so, Let's keep praying for Brother Leon, Sister and Mother. And then we want to pray for Sandy and Jerry back here because they live away from the church. And Sandy and Jerry, I always think about you all and pray for you and your going and coming. I don't think we have a sweeter couple in our church than that couple right there. They love God. They help us with air travel, any kind of travel. They just get right in work with us. Let the Spirit of God come in and bless them. And they, like others, the enemy has uh, tried to come against us all in some way or another, but it's over with. It's over with. I never again, never again, will I give, the Bible said, give no place to the devil. Is that not the word of God? Yes. All right, every time he starts saying, say, no place. 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 You ever drive up to a motel? No vacancy. No vacancy. You ever try to get in a motel? When they said, no vacancy. They meant it. No vacancy. So you don't have any vacancy in your house. Praise the name of the Lord. And uh, we thank God for this good day, this good night. Thank you for being patient, letting me finish up here. And all every good thing, that's enough, that's done. That said, tomorrow night is choir practice, uh, Bible study. We, somebody say, you're from the morning down to Bible study on Wednesday night, or are you still keeping the Monday night? 
I gotta have something to do on Monday night. <laughs> what better thing can I do than study the Word of God? Right. So there will be six o'clock Bible study and prayer meeting, and then there will be choir practice tomorrow night. Is that right? Is that right, Sister Marla? Or is that a yes? All right. Uh, uh, choir practice tomorrow night at uh, 7.30. And then band practice will take up their regular schedule the week after that. Uh, and uh, choir and band. Um, and so let's, let's look forward to uh, uh, that. Uh, let, let's get the choir. It's been quite a while since we had choir or band practice. So spread the word tomorrow, and all the choir be here, and let's have a great choir practice, and uh, let it really stand out. Amen. Be positive with it. Uh, say we we are greater. We we've got a greater choir here than the Mormon Tabernacle Choir, the Brooklyn Tabernacle Choir. Amen. 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 And believe, praise God, and be here. And hold your choir up and bless the Lord. And let him, let him use your voice. Let him use your voice. God gave you the voice. Let him use it uh, for his glory. Praise the name of the Lord. Can we remember Don Norman? Yes, Brother, Brother Norman, he's another one we don't uh, say a lot about, but he's out here now in Casamora. He's not in Sarasota. They closed that home for infractions of health rules. And they transferred Brother uh, Donna here to Casamora, which is right back of Blake Hospital. He's there. He's there. And uh, what is the room number? 390. 390. 390, Casamora, Don Norman, right out here behind Blake. He'd be delighted to see you. And I want to say that we're glad to have uh, Prophetess Brenda Jones. Uh, Sister Jones, hold your hands up back there. And I hope you'll come back again. And if you'll like to say something for the Lord. If you'll like to your feet, let you say something for the Lord uh, in the next meeting. And you come back. And um, uh, we'll, uh, we'll look for you back. We'll look for you back. God gave her a special anointing tonight. Special blessing from the Lord. And so, Prophetess Jones, you come back and be with us. That's enough. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. Who is his birthday? Is it? Well, we've been in the birthday business all day today, so let's continue. Happy birthday to you.